Good morning, beautiful souls. Heart is full. Had some really good rest last night and woke up in a state of deep gratitude. I know there's a lot going on in the world, all over, so much injustice. And it's easy to get stuck in the heaviness of it all and feel helpless and hopeless. However, at the same time, I'm reminded that if you're one of those people that, like me, feel things very deeply, remembering that that is a gift. It's one of our greatest gifts of our humanity to stay connected to all that's happening, even when it isn't easy. So I was grateful for my empathy. I was grateful for the gift of being human, but also very grateful for our capacity to affect change. I receive messages often about how, you know, short micro meditation, just checking in with your heart, holding space to feel, have a release if you're crying or just relaxing in your body, and then reconnecting, maybe getting grounded by a short blessing that I might offer a thought at the end of that video. And I get messages from people saying, just got one a couple of days ago. Um, from someone who was on the verge of unaliving themselves. And thinking about, okay, what a gift to be able to hold space for someone on that journey I've never met, to offer without expectation, without desire, but sincere offering from the heart. And if that happens one time, that's more than enough. More, more than I could have ever asked for when offering to share in this way. And while some may not get it, knowing that it's not for them to get, it's for that person, right? Or all of you that are here with me now, if you resonate with that in some way. So I'm deeply, deeply grateful for our capacity to affect change to affect the world and how that also is a part of our own journey, our personal evolution, our personal expansion. I'm also very grateful for my ancestors, all of our ancestors in one way or another faced similar, if not greater challenges. If we look historically, they didn't have the internet. <laughs> they didn't have the same comforts that we have but yet they showed up and they organized and they stood up for what they believed in. And I know that I'm standing on their shoulders with deep reverence and gratitude for all that they created in many small ways within their homes, within their hearts, in many big ways, broader ways, I should say, they're all big ways, um, broader, more visible ways within the community, within the country, within the world. So this morning I'm intuitively on, I'm in a state of overflow. And so that's when I share, that's when I usually come on. Not always, but that's um, a general principle I like to live by, I give for my overflow in this space on social media. And um, I'm drawn to lead a, a bit of a, a meditation this morning. So if that's resonating, um, I'm just going to do a bit of a body scan this morning, connecting to the breath. I've been going through um, this book called The Heart of the Buddha's Teaching and um, reading through some excerpts on mindfulness and there's some really beautiful mantras um, connected to the breath. And I'm going to go really deep into this practice um, this morning in the Beautiful Souls community. But uh, I wanted to offer a shorter version of it here for you guys here on social media.
Allow your eyes to gently close. Receiving a deep breath in. Settle into your body. And as you exhale, settle your body into your seat. Savoring another deep breath in now. Allow that breath to expand the lower diaphragm, the belly. And as you exhale, remember that you are also in a state of expansion in each and every moment. Savoring another deep breath in. Allow this breath to lengthen the spine, the crown high, and the tailbone low, being anchored by the earth. Exhaling into a posture of dignity. here and now. Continuing now to breathe at your own pace. present to the body, noticing any spaces of tension or ease. And as you do, becoming present also to the breath. Notice the natural length of the in-breath, the natural length of your out-breath. Witness it without judgment. shallow, even or uneven, and as you connect to the breath, anchor into the support from the earth that you're receiving through the air, and allow it to nourish any spaces in the body that are longing for your attention or nurturing. connected and that support is only a conscious breath away. We'll hold space here for three minutes to connect to the breath. your inner knowing and breathe through any resistance.
and now connect it to the body. We use one simple mantra for the next three minutes to invite in a bit of joy and release any anxiety or heaviness. And the mantra is, breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, I release all my worries and anxieties. Again, breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, I release all of my worries and anxieties. For the next three minutes, repeat this mantra as you breathe in and out. Grounding into this present moment. As you surrender any resistance or doubt. Breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, I release all worry and anxiety. Breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, 
that release all worry and anxieties. And now to close this short practice. One more deep breath in, allow pure loving kindness to arise in the center of your heart. Feel its warmth, its comfort, its freedom from all conditions, its limitless possibilities. As you breathe, it effortlessly expands beyond the heart now into your entire body, filling yourself with love down through the legs, into the feet, out through the arms, into the hands, up through the neck, into the head. And now your entire physical form is immersed in loving kindness. Continuing to breathe now, it expands beyond the body into your aura, your personal bubble. Cleansing and clearing anything that no longer serves you while also providing a layer of safety and protection. With each breath, it continues to grow brighter and brighter and brighter. Until finally, your aura can no longer contain it. And you are in overflow. It expands effortlessly beyond your aura and shines in all directions all at once. And each ray of light is connecting you to all of existence, reminding you of our unison, reminding you that each one is a divine one, a miracle of life itself. And so in reverence of this miracle, we are all gifted. We close with a universal blessing. So sending this intention on rays of loving kindness, repeat the following after me. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. May all beings take care of themselves wisely. May all beings be safe and protected. May all beings be free of suffering and the root of all suffering. And may all beings be peaceful and at ease. Gently now returning to this present moment, 
allow your eyes to gently open with deep gratitude and reverence for this moment, this life, this season of your journey. The love, light, and truth within me honors the love, light, and truth within you. Namaste. Hmm. Thank you all for showing up for this practice this morning, for holding space for your heart and all of our hearts. Every morning I do a 30 minute meditation in the Beautiful Souls Online community at 7.30. And if you're interested in learning more about the community or anything else that I offer, music, poetry, and the Rise Journal, which is a meditative journaling practice for self-actualization, um, links to that and more are all at my website at soulcalledjoel.com. Until next time, be well. Much love and light. Peace.